Here at Bikes Online, it's as simple as click, unbox, and ride. However, being avid cyclists ourselves, we understand that buying a bike online can be a bit overwhelming. So we've simplified the process, ensuring that you spend less time on the computer here and more time outside on the trails or the road. So let's take a quick look at these features on the computer here and get you on the right bike. Hey everyone, Phil from Bikes Online here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a few features on our website. The first one being the bike finder to help you find the right bike, the second being our size calculator to get you on the right size bike, and then lastly walk you through the unboxing experience when you get your new bike. This process was designed to be as simple as possible but if you have any questions whatsoever don't hesitate to reach out to one of our gearheads in the comments here or on the help center section on our website because at the end of the day, we want you to be able to make an informed decision when purchasing your next bike. So let's jump into it, first looking at finding the right bike. With over 100 bikes, it can quickly become a daunting task as to which one's the right one for you. You often ask yourself, should I get a D7? Should I get a T7? Should I get a gravel bike or a hardtail? It can get a little bit confusing. And that's where our handy little bike finder came in. So I was fortunate enough to work with the team on putting together the bike finder. And all it is is a little quiz asking you questions from budget to riding style to what trails you'll be riding to help you find the right bike. So with that being said, let's dig into it and see which bike it recommends for me. So being a mountain biker, I want a mountain bike. So I'm gonna pick something here. I'm gonna go dirt trails and single track. I'm an adult, I hope. And I'd say I'm kind of an intermediate rider. For advanced riders, there's actually a few more questions that you'll have to answer. And this is to really narrow down what you're kind of looking for. And then moving on from there, I want to spend around $3,000 to $4,000. So I want something pretty nice. So I'm looking for a trail bike. So something in between, not quite cross country, not something super crazy like an enduro downhill bike. So the terrain's going to be a bit in the middle, a bit of roots, rocky terrain. So I want something with that moderate kind of suspension because I just want to take a little bit of that edge off, but I don't want a heap amount of suspension. And then I'm say I'd be going over kind of medium sized bumps and rocks. If the pictures and descriptions don't provide you with enough information about your local terrain, a great thing would be to head out to your local trails and you can check them on Strava, Trail Fox is a great option as well. And that's gonna show you what kind of trails you have around you. And then you can kind of see, so there's gonna be everything from green, blue, black trails. That'll kind of give you an indication of the terrain that you'll be riding. So I'll leave some links to those in the description. So with that being said, let's see what the bike finder recommended to me. So looking at a few options, there's a fair few with 100%. So that's a really good match there. We've got the Siskiyou T. I've ridden that bike before, so I don't really want another one. But digging in, I think the Maroon Rift Zone 3 is gonna be right up my alley. So I'm gonna pick that bike. So now we've got the bike, the next part is getting the right size. So the best way to do this would be using our size calculator on our website, which lives right here below the pictures on the website. And then on the mobile, you can see it right here as well. So let's dig in and try it out. So you can easily toggle between units here. So I'll go metric being in Australia. So I'm 185 centimeters tall, so six foot one. Just make sure when you're taking your measurements with your height, you do take your shoes off. And then we have inseam, which is a really important measurement when it comes to bikes. So this is essentially the measurement from the ground up to kind of in between your groin there. So the easiest way to measure this would be to slide a book up in your groin, can be a little bit uncomfortable, and then stand up against the wall. So from there, you're gonna measure from the ground to the top of your book, and that's gonna give you your inseam measurement. So it's gonna be really handy having someone help you out here. If you want complete accuracy, check out our at-home bike fit video where one of our gearheads, Brad, will show you through the process. So for me, I'm around 86 centimeters there, so a little bit shorter than average, I've got shorter legs. So now onto the arm measurement. So for this, you're gonna measure from that bony part on the outside of your shoulder, all the way down to your wrist. So for me, I'm around 60 centimeters, so pretty close to average here. And I prefer more of a neutral position riding, not too aggressive and then not too upright either. So that gives me a size large, so that's perfect. That's pretty much what I would have guessed anyway. So for a lot of people, this will be all the information you need to get yourself on a brand new bike. But we know for a lot of people, a big part of that bike shop experience is walking into the shop and getting all those questions answered that you might have. So let's head over to our advice and help center section where we can answer a lot of these questions. So that's gonna be at the top of the web page or it's gonna be from the side of the bike here. So here we have everything from our live chat, submitting queries about orders, our assembly tutorials, bike care and maintenance tips. But a really helpful feature is our new book a call function where you can talk to one of our experienced gearheads. So clicking on here, you can select and book a time to talk to one of our experienced gearheads, as I said. So for example, you can talk to Brad, a mountain biker with over 30 years experience. So that's gonna be really helpful when finding your bike. So now we have everything we need. I'm gonna go ahead and order that Marin Rift Zone 3 and get it shipped up from our headquarters down in Sydney to meet up here in Brisbane. 
So the bike's finally here, only took two days, so I'm pretty stoked with that. So let's take it out of the box, see what you get, and build it up. So sick. So there she is, the Rift Zone 3, she's looking great. I'm absolutely stoked to build this bike up. But before I do, I would definitely recommend checking out our dual suspension build video. And that's gonna give you all the tips and information on how to build your brand new dual suspension bike. And then for all our other bikes, I'll leave a link to our help center and that'll give you all the information and videos on how to build your brand new bike as well. With that being said, let's build up this brand new Rift Zone 3. The build's actually quite simple. All you need to do is remove the packaging, making sure to keep it all for now, install the bars, the front wheel, the seat post, in this case, the dropper post. So there's a slight little extra step there. And then lastly, the pedals. And once that's done, give your bike a full once over, making sure all the bolts are tight. And then you can go ahead and check our following guides on how to find the right tire pressure, how to do an at-home bike fit, and how to set up your suspension. All the links to these videos can be found in the description and then at our help center as well. So there you go, she's all built up, looking really nice. I like the orange and the blue. The orange matches my tools and the blue on the pedals and the tires matches the bikes online blue. On brand, I really like it. But before I take it out on the trail, we always recommend trying the bike out for size indoors. In case you need to return it, the size isn't quite right because we do offer 14 day free returns. So all you need to do is box the bike up, send it back to us free of charge. So with that being said, I'm gonna pass it back to some of the customer service and after sales team at Bikes Online HQ, and they can let you know a little bit more about what they do and how they can help you out. Hi, I'm Pierre, customer service supervisor at Bikes Online. Being a cyclist myself, I understand the whole process of buying a new bike as well as some of the questions that may arise with your new purchase. Whether you have a technical question about your bike or assembly care, we have you covered. At the end of the day, myself, along with my team of eight, are here to help you, allowing you to ride more and stress less. <laughs>